Hello everyone, welcome back to Agriculture Insight. Did you know that American farmers harvest 30 million tons of sugar beets every year? Yes, indeed, they produce a sweet source of sugar for the whole world. In today's video, we're going to explore the amazing journey of sugar beets, from the vast fields in the U.S. to the modern factories where they are processed into sweet, pure products. Join us as we discover the meticulous farming practices of these farmers and how high-tech machinery helps them efficiently harvest and process sugar beets. You'll be amazed at the technological advancements in agriculture. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on other exciting videos. Let's start this incredible journey together. Sugar beet is a crucial crop in American agriculture, significantly contributing to the sugar production industry and other agricultural products. Sugar beets are primarily grown in states such as California, Idaho, Michigan, Nebraska, and North Dakota. The U.S. is one of the world's largest sugar producers, with sugar beets playing a vital role in supplying sugar for both domestic markets and exports. About 55% of the sugar consumed domestically is produced from sugar beets, while the remainder comes from sugarcane. The production of sugar beets not only meets domestic consumption needs, but also serves the food, beverage, and other food processing industries. Beyond providing sugar, sugar beets also produce livestock feed from the residual pulp after processing, contributing to the food and agricultural supply chain. With substantial output and an irreplaceable role, Sugar beets not only supply essential raw materials for the food industry, but also support the development of American agriculture, boosting the economy and meeting the needs of millions of global consumers. In the spring, when the soil is warm enough and the frost season has passed, farmers prepare their fields for planting sugar beets. First, they plow the soil to loosen it, remove weeds and improve drainage, creating an ideal environment for plant growth. To enhance soil fertility, farmers often spread manure, which helps retain moisture and provides organic nutrients to the plants. After the soil preparation, farmers proceed with sowing the seeds. To ensure even seed density and spacing, they use automatic seed drills, saving time and effort. Seeds have been treated with chemicals and poured into the seeder's hopper. Each hopper can hold up to 3,000 seeds. Sugar beet seeds are sown about 2 to 3 centimeters deep in the soil, with reasonable spacing between seeds and rows to allow ample space for growth. Throughout the growth process, providing sufficient water is crucial. After planting, care is essential to help the sugar beet plant grow. Farmers use automated irrigation systems with rotating arms that have attached sprinklers, distributing water evenly across the field. This system rotates, spraying water on each sugar beet plant, ensuring that the plants do not suffer from water scarcity and grow strong without becoming waterlogged. Besides watering, fertilizing is also essential. Fertilizers used may be liquid or granular, with key components including nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, helping sugar beets to grow healthy rapidly and achieve high yields. Another important aspect of sugar beet care is hilling the soil. This equipment helps protect the beets from environmental impacts and improves nutrient absorption from the soil. Typically, it takes about seven to eight months for sugar beets to mature and be ready for harvest. When the time comes, American farmers employ modern machinery to harvest the crops. These machines allow for quick and efficient harvesting while ensuring the quality of the produce. As the harvest season begins, the vast sugar beet fields are bustling with specialized machinery tasked with the job. These harvesters are specifically designed for precise and optimal extraction of sugar beets. 
The harvesting process begins as the machine enters the field, where the sugar beets have matured. Sugar beet harvesters typically feature a sharp, controlled cutting system that digs deep into the soil to separate the beet roots from the ground. This digging component can cut and lift the beets without breaking them or harming the soil. Once lifted, the beets are transferred to a conveyor belt that moves them to the cleaning units. Moreover, the harvesting of sugar beets is made more modern and efficient through the use of two specialized machines. First, a large harvester moves across the field, using powerful cutting blades to remove all the foliage from the sugar beets. This machine separates the leaves from the roots, preparing them for the main harvesting phase. Following this, another machine equipped with special mechanisms passes over to lift the beets from the ground. The beets are placed on a conveyor belt where they undergo preliminary cleaning, removing soil and any remaining impurities. This process ensures the beets retain their best quality. Finally, the cleaned beets are transferred to a truck parked near the field, ready to be transported to the processing facility. Modern harvesters can process up to 12 rows of sugar beets simultaneously, saving time and increasing labor productivity. This is especially important for large-scale operations, as it allows farmers to complete their work quickly, without excessive effort. These machines are also equipped with automated control systems that allow for adjustments to the harvesting speed to match soil and weather conditions, ensuring a smooth and efficient harvesting process. Sugar beet harvesters are not just tools for increasing productivity. They are essential components of the agricultural production chain. Each sugar beet harvester is very expensive, often costing hundreds of thousands of US dollars. Although the initial cost of the machines is high, they help farmers harvest quickly. On average, each hectare of sugar beet field can harvest between 30 and 70 tons of beets. After harvesting, the sugar beets are transported to a roadside storage area. The trucks cannot go down into the fields, so they use a special conveyor belt to load the sugar beets onto the trucks. Before reaching the factory, sugar beets are gathered in large storage yards. It's impressive to see the enormous volume of beets, isn't it? Consolidating large quantities of beets in this area not only highlights the scale of production, but also serves a practical purpose. It optimizes the workflow, ensuring that raw materials are continuously and efficiently ready for factory processing. Once all the beets have been consolidated, the remaining tasks are performed at the processing plant. This is where a closed-loop process transforms the raw, muddy beets into pure sugar granules ready to meet consumer and production demands. The process is carried out with the support of advanced technologies and modern machinery, ensuring optimal efficiency and the highest quality. First, the cleaning stage begins. The sugar beets in the consolidation area are moved on a conveyor belt to an automatic washing system. Here, strong water jets directly spray the beets, combined with rotating drums and conveyors, helping to remove dirt, rocks, and other impurities from the surface. After washing, the beets are transferred to the sorting area where automatic scanning machines with optical sensors inspect the quality and size of each beet. Damaged or substandard beets are discarded, while those that meet requirements continue on to the processing line. Next is the slicing stage, an important step in the processing. Modern slicing machines with sharp blades cut the beets into thin strips called cassettes. These strips have a greater surface area, facilitating the sugar extraction process. The cassettes are then placed in large extraction tanks, where water heated to about 70 degrees cells circulates to dissolve the natural sucrose in the beets. The result is a raw juice with a high sugar content that is collected and moved to the refining stage. This raw juice, while rich in sucrose, still contains impurities. Therefore, it is treated in large filtration tanks by adding lime milk and carbon dioxide. These substances react with the impurities, forming insoluble sediment, which is then removed through high-pressure filtration. 
the result is a clearer sugar solution, but it still requires further processing to achieve the highest purity. This solution is transferred to an evaporation tower, where excess water is removed, increasing the sugar concentration. Evaporation towers often use vacuum technology to reduce the boiling temperature and protect the quality of the sugar. Once the solution reaches a certain concentration, it is moved to a crystallizer. Here, small seed crystals are added to help the sugar crystallize and grow into the desired crystal size. After crystallization, the sugar crystals are still coated with a layer of molasses, giving them a golden hue. They are placed in a centrifuge, where they are spun at high speeds to separate the molasses from the sugar crystals. The molasses is often used as a raw material for other products, while the sugar crystals proceed to the drying stage. Drying equipment uses hot air to dry the sugar, ensuring each crystal meets standards for moisture content and purity. Once the sugar is dry, it is moved to an automatic packaging system. Depending on its intended use, the sugar may be packaged in small bags for household use or large sacks for the food industry. For liquid sugar, such as syrup, specialized bottling lines handle the bottling process, ensuring each bottle is securely sealed and safe. Now, you have a comprehensive view of how farmers harvest millions of tons of sugar beets. Thank you for joining me on this exciting journey. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to continue learning about the wonders of the agricultural world. Goodbye and see you in the next video.